If you've seen a few of my videos, you've heard me say in the past that it's always better to have a shoe in hand before you make the ultimate decision to keep or pass on it. Well, guess what? I'm glad I listened to my own advice because these right here are a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Let's talk about them. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Little sort of way, Kick Channel, and how are we doing out there today, guys? We have another unboxing here on the channel. But before we get into it, please smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscriber button. Click that notification bell. Do all those great things so you can be notified that every time I drop one of these videos. Well, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and unbox these Jordan 1 Palominos. All right, guys, once again, we're getting a dope box for our Jordan 1s. I mean, Jordan brand has really been hitting us with a bunch of dope boxes when it comes to our Jordan 1, guys. And here we have an all-black box with Nike in that golden metallic. I mean, it's pretty much all over here. But the label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Metallic Gold Palomino. And these are a size 12 that I picked up from exclusive access there at the finish line. And not only did I get myself a pair, but I got my girl a pair too. So I will be showing the grade school pair on here, but let's go ahead and take a look at this men's pair, guys. And man, I have to say, I, I was really going to pass on these. There was a part of me that was really trending that way because I saw so many pictures, so many early reviews, just early, 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 and all the talk about them to where I actually got tired of hearing about them. And I was just like, man, I can't wait until the release date comes and goes for the Palomino ones. But you know what? I didn't want to disappoint and not bring you my own in-hand review and opinion of the shoes. And guess what? I'm very glad that I took my own advice of getting a shoe in hand before I made the ultimate decision to pass on them. Because now that I do actually have them, yeah, these are a lot nicer than I previously thought about them. Now I did see them as far back as Got Soul Miami and I looked at them and I was like, oh yeah, 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 these are cool. But I didn't really look at them that hard. You know what I mean? I figured, well, they're gonna be coming out later. I'll probably check them out then. But since that time, up until now, I've just, like I said, we were inundated with pictures on feet, everyone talking about them and everyone calling these the Mocha 2.0s. And me personally, like I said, I, I just got tired of hearing about them. And I feel like that has actually been a negative effect on a lot of people as far as sneakers are concerned because we get so many early reviews, so many early on feet, so many pictures, like so much talk about a shoe that when actual release day comes, yeah, we're kind of like over it. And it's like, yeah, well, when's the next shoe coming out? But let me know in the comments if you feel what it is I'm talking about. In any case, let's go ahead and real quick take a look at these guys. And I have to say, I mean, listen, the materials on here are really nice. The leather, it's not that tumbled black panel leather there, guys. I mean, this is a, a dope leather kind of to the touch itself, but it's not very tumbled at all. And where you see the, the Palomino brown there, I mean, listen, it's it's a nice material. It's not like the, the craziest thing to touch, but you're not gonna be disappointed whatsoever if you're still waiting for your pair to actually ship to you guys. Once you get them in hand, I mean, I, I really feel like you're gonna be happy with these. But I have to say, like taking a look here at the spinal area, we do have that mocha brown, palomino brown. I mean, listen, this actually looks a lot more mocha-like than it does, I guess, palomino. I mean, really, when you take a look at what a palomino color is concerning the horse, which is what it actually refers to palomino white, I mean, it's more gold, kind of like it is here on the tongue tag, guys. So I guess our palomino color is right here. So the rest of this, maybe we can say it's a, a dark mocha. Would you agree? But that's part of the reason why a lot of people wanted to compare these to the mocha ones, but I get where they're going with that. But to me, I feel like maybe that's doing these a little bit of a disservice because the color blocking is a lot different as far as the mocha ones are concerned. And even the Travis Scott one highs, which I do have there in the corner, guys. I mean, yeah, the color is almost kind of similar 
but I wouldn't necessarily group these all in the same category just because there's something about these that is a lot different when you really think about those other two pairs. Not even just the way the color blocking is. I just feel like these here are a different kind of tone when you look at the shoe. I mean, just the, the black in itself and the brown, and then you have a sail midsole there. You do have a palomino brown outsole. And then looking at the inside of the sock liner, it's all black, but you do have the Nike metallic air down there, guys, on the foot pad. And the, I don't understand why they didn't give us an extra set of laces. I think it would have been all too easy to give us an extra set of sail laces or at least a set of laces that match that golden tongue tag, guys. I mean, really, the only thing we got special when it comes to the shoe itself, if you were lucky enough to go ahead and cop them because they sold out somewhat kind of quick, is the metallic blocking here on the box. I mean, where are my extra set of laces, Nike? You gave them to us with the UNC toes. I mean, why didn't we get them with these? Like I said, I do have a youth pair here. And unfortunately, the youth pair only comes in a regular kind of Jordan 1 box. And yeah, that's a little boring, but it is what it is. They get to wear the shoe. But these here in particular are the pair that my girl wanted guys and the quality on these is actually at least this pair in particular is a match to what i got for the men's jordan one so make sure if you are able to pick these up in store that you double check both pairs guys because this material here that's on the palominos i feel like it could be easily scratched so I'd be careful how it is you wear them, where it is you're wearing them, what it is you're doing in them, guys, because, you know, you obviously don't want to have any blemishes happen to the shoe itself. I mean, these are dope enough and hard enough to get. And if you actually want to try to get another pair, well, they've been going up in price from what I've seen on the secondary market. I think right after release, I saw them shoot up to at least $250 in a size 12. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you were able to secure your pair and don't have to deal with all that nonsense with the resale market. But these here in particular, I mean, listen, I think they're really dope. I think that it's definitely a great, great W if you were able to get them, guys. I mean, listen, let me know in the comments what it is you think. Did you pass on them? Did you cop? Did you take L's? Do you have a W actually rolling in? I'm here for all parts of the conversation, as I always say. In any case, this is Lewis of the Way It Kicks channel, reminding you to be true, stay in the moment, and don't forget, every day's a great day to wear your kicks.